So this is a, a computer I sold a while back. <laughs> Probably a good amount of time back. So originally I had a one terabyte hard drive. Well, it still has one terabyte hard drive. So it has one terabyte hard drive, uh, eight gigs of RAM, two, two gig sticks each, and the video card is a NVIDIA GTX 450 and it has an i7 60 2600 okay 2600 so he wanted to upgrade this machine and he bought 32 gigs of ram but it's non-ecc this machine supports 16 gigs of non-ecc and 32 gigs of ecc memory so and he wants me to clone his one terabyte drive over to a kingston ssd and he's got one of the little old school brackets like the what is it the 10,000 then 10,000 rpm you know adapters it's a pretty good deal i guess his ssd might stay a little bit cooler but he bought one of these this is a 580 and he said he couldn't get this to work and he, he you know i guess uh, a friend of his is in the IT business too she tried it and couldn't get it to work in this machine I already went in the BIOS and and set it to so it will run older cars I'm thinking maybe some reason this is just UEFI this you know so this card you put it in I'll show you now you can see the picture you know it's a 32 inch LG again so everything's hooked in so that so you see here besides his hard drive i don't have his hard drive hooked in so the system does a normal office computer thing so so you see he's getting he gets an image with his original card so I'm gonna power it's gonna fall on the ground i'll hit the power button i do that every time make sure there's no ridges or reach i can't even say it. no power left into the power supply or caps or anything so then, these are pretty nice. You just put these, and this comes down. Yeah, this, 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 the way that bracket is in the back is annoying. So here it is, pretty clean. Like, it still looks like, still looks like it's brand new. So, sit this over here. then we go to set it in here and these are pretty decent systems I, I used to like these all the time because the you know they come with a 400 watt power supply so you already got a six pin coming off this requires a six pin so we'll put this in now I'll mention again I already went in the BIOS I changed the settings so it will support an older card in case this is trying to you know boot legacy or whatever so we'll hook a six pin in run it through hdmi hook hdmi in and we'll hit the well, you're gonna help to hit the power button without the cord right so we'll plug that in hit the power button Okay, you think it's probably learning something right now, you know, how to boot, what it needs to do, but that's it. No display. Uh, so you see if we have the same problem with like my other HP, right? That it won't boot until the OS comes on. Plug this in. Hit the power button again. I don't still don't see it doing it. Yeah, the hard drive sounds pretty bad. easy to get to besides um, I, 
I'm assuming it is not booting off his hard drive. Because if I hit this power button, it goes off. It's not trying to attempt to boot. Yeah, it's not, it's not even attempting to try to boot because it knows something's not, there's no VGA. Uh, so I'm just trying to do the little trick like I did through the other one to see if this is actually going in the, his onboard graphics was still kicked on. And, and he did also say they tried to do onboard graphics and this video car still didn't show up. But yeah, I'm, I'm not getting like an image. <laughs> and what I found weird about this car is this whole thing's blocked off basically almost around. The only way you feel air is through these two where the heat pipes are. Air's coming out of here. Nowhere else because this whole car is blocked off pretty much all the way around. You actually can feel the air coming back out through the fans itself. So yeah, still no image out of it. So you think maybe I'm yeah, still not trying to do even through the you know through onboard graphics too with this card in here. So pull this card out. And I did even test it with my little you know little test video card. So this is a is the uh 2 gig uh, GT 730 and it it works with this car too so pull this thing back out yeah the way this slot is made in the back is kind of annoying okay so when I show you now we'll take this cord here now I do have the HP, I still haven't got my case for it. Not the HP, but the the stuff from the HP computer I do have sitting right here. So I'll put it in this lower slot because this is this is just this cooler's you know kind of ridiculous on getting anything out of here, especially with this huge plastic back piece on here. See how thick this is? But you can see what I mean. Like the whole this is all blocked, it has some air vents here. Some here in the back, a little bit here, but I was feeling more air coming out <laughs> of where the fans are are coming out, you know, and here. So we'll put this in. Said he got this off of uh, Amazon, so just try this again. Grab the HDMI. I hook my ethernet cable so it doesn't try to do an update turn that on and now try to get both of these in here hit the power button and yeah so the card works I'm getting an image out of it on now, as you can see, this is the i5-12400 system. Yeah, he had uh, some DDR4 memory too, 32 gigs. I was hoping he got it when, when the RAM was really cheap, but he just recently got it, so it's not cheap at all. Uh, yeah, so the, the video card works. Why is saying that? So, well, uh, shut that down. I don't know why I'm saying that, but probably because I killed it in the middle of it to <laughs> install it earlier. But yeah, the video card seems to at least give an image. So I'll put his original one back in and I'll clone his drive off. And that's basically it. Now that I can do with this system. 
You can see here, let's get a better, better idea of it. So, yeah, it has a word set up. There's like, yeah, the board, this motherboard will fit in a different case, but it's got a non standard power connector for the motherboard. It's like a, what is this, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 connector, and then a 24. And then even the even the power button, LED, all that stuff is an odd hookup. The USB ports are all different, so there's nothing standard on this board. Just notice this. I don't know the camera's gonna pick it up, but yeah, just dim. And when you should be brightening, what what in the world is going on with this? So there is actually a piece of metal down here. I'm just floating around. I cannot get off the board. Yeah, that's kind of weird, but uh, it was working, so I'm gonna cut this video short. I have to clone this drive off, and you can see I probably titled this another reason not to buy an HP computer, older or newer. Like that video card should work in this system, but it doesn't. It's you know due to to HP saying no we won't support certain stuff only put in stuff that we want you know Nvidia works pretty fine in it AMD that video card wouldn't work as you've seen I booted it up on a, a whole different Intel system and that card works so that's gonna call it on this video and thank you for watching